time travel feature in databricks allows us to recover old data when it is required uh, when you accidentally commit any data which was not intentional or when you want to do auditing kind of thing then time travel is a feature you can use so default data retention period is 7 days that you can change using the configuration i'm not going to show those configuration as of now that is available on databricks documentation and this feature is work only with data tables in this session i'm going to show you how time travel works using one example on on the block storage i have two files one is i'm going to do full load and the second one has delta data that we will append to the whatever the full load we have done and since that is a mistake we will delete the data and then we will do the merge operation using the old data that is the whatever the data we have committed in step 2 we will recover the only delta data and we will do the merge let us begin here is db movies created database and inside that i am going to create movies table on the movies cluster which we we will use to insert the data and we will learn how time travel works on the blob storage as i earlier said there are two files one is movies.csv which will be a full load let me show you the data it has movie id movie title category and uh, other columns and in movies delta csv there are only three data rows which will be used for delta load and if you notice in the movies title i have added extra word called as delta let us go back to databricks let me create the table so this table is a delta table table is created there is nothing in this table so let us insert the data from movies.csv this is going to be a full load now insert into movies yes we we'll go back and again select the data we'll verify all the records got inserted as we see the first file got loaded successfully and now this is the command describe history movies this command will show me all the modifications we have done on this table so first one is create table and second one is write if you notice version 0 and 1 and along with that the time stamp is also there and this table will explain us whatever the operations we have done in this case it is append who has done that through which notebook on which cluster and there are rest of the information is also available there are columns that is the first column version and second is time stamp that we are going to use in this exer exercise now it's time to load the delta file i am running this command so first i am going to read data from delta file and then i will insert the data into movies table let me check how many rows are there so there are three rows having delta keyword in movie title i 
I have inserted the delta data into movies table. Let me check the history again. As we say, there is one more version got added. That is version two, and operation is a right, and operation parameter are append, and partition. But there are no partition specified, so it's append. So earlier it was only right, and there are now right, and then right. Two operations are done. Since that was a mistake, let us delete the data from movie title where movie title. Like delta. Before that, let me show you how it looks like. Where move title like delta. The movie title has a delta keyword. Let me delete this delta and data. And then we will later on recover this data, and we will do merge operation instead of append. Now let us go back and see the history again. If you see a new version got added, and the operation is delete, it also tells us what was the where criteria we had applied. So it's now time to recover old data, or how how to see the old data. So the version two has second append operation. I'm going to select data from the version two. So the syntax is select start from table and then version as of actual version number. Just run this command. if you see the data is there and this is a complete data when we added delta data as well so there are two ways we can access the data using version number the first one is version as of and second is table name at the rate v and then version number you can also apply where criteria after specifying the version Let us run this command. In version two, we have this data. I'm going to show you by the same data by firing the second query egg. You can specify at the rate v and then version number as well. The same data is visible. And the other way is. Using timestamp as well. So this timestamp is nothing but when you have done the operation. So the second column in the history table, which is timestamp, we have to use this date as a timestamp. So this date and time includes the time till milliseconds, and then also after that we can add where. Here I am going to union all. the first one is old data then the current data and again the old data using the other syntax like at the rate and timestamp so th that is the same date only the dash or hyphen and the other characters are eliminated let me run this command oops this was a pre populated command so let me change the date to the appropriate one let me copy for version 2 paste here at the rate date will be the same including time till milliseconds i'm just exclude the colon dot t and other hyphen characters 
let us run it if you see there are row sets it is 1 and 3 it means we are able to retrieve the old data but from second query there is no data because that data is not present as of now in current version of table now let me show you the documentation about time travel in databricks I just searched Databricks time travel and there are blogs or videos given by experts you can go through that they have also mentioned what is this video about and what you are going to learn but uh, this is not the link I wanted to show you I'll just go back and I click on the table batch reads and writes this link you will find under the resources section just scroll down this is time travel section these are the syntaxes just I show you you can apply this syntax on data frame as well and here is it is a merge command where we can specify the same table but older version and there is a join you can just copy paste or you can write your own command the syntax will be the same and now let me show you how this merge going to work so here merge into movies that is a target table and using the older version and there is a criteria to join that table and then I wanted to extract the delta data join is on movie id and then what I am going to do update operation I have run this command already which was succeeded and now I am going to select the data where movie title like card spark and then percentage before that let me show you the history if you see here merge operation is done after delete so first we did append then we did delete and now I have done merge before looking what the what is the data as of now in this table let me show you the earlier data when we appended the delta data that was version 2 at the rate v2 if i run this command there should be two rows one is card spark and the other one is card spark delta now since we have merged the data there should be only one row and which will be delta 